feel like the best way to like get us is to listen on record, then come see us live. Because live, we're just a punk band. We're yeah. like no different. Than, like, you know, like maybe on like record, we do like a few other things. But when we play live, it's just it's a punk show. We're a punk band. Do you know what I mean? Because that's all encompassing. Do you know what I mean? You're not like, oh, we're a we're a you know we're a pop grunge punk band. We're just a punk band, and that's what we are. Do you know what I mean? Because there's so much in there. There's a lot of bands like that now. Do you know what I mean? They do so much, and everyone tries to create a new genre for them to be in. You know, this core punk or you know post this and that. It's just punk bands. We're just a punk band. Because right. everybody always wants to put some kind of tag on you. Like as soon as you come out, or compare you to somebody else. Or... The first record was, you know, we hadn't really found where we were at yet. But sad sack, we found where we were at. And uh, yeah, it's just I think it's just punk music. Really. We have a great team of people around us that do all that kind of stuff. It's really good. We kind of, when we first started, we did a lot of stuff ourselves, like you do when you first start. And like, yeah. then people wanted to be involved in what we did. And they're really great people who like, they want us to stay. They want us to not have to do anything differently. And they don't want us to have the pressures or the stresses of any of that kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? Because sometimes it can get to you. Like, you know, we got to release, you got to do this and that. So we've got our team of people that hasn't changed for like nearly a year now. Since, since, yeah, nearly a year, uh, and they deal with that. So the stuff for hopeless is, you know. So also, we are like a bit of a curveball sound-wise on their roster, like yeah, compared we, to what they have got. We sit, we sit a bit like on there, but I think like that's because that label had a strong, like you know, they they did it Taking Back Sunday and that kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like I think like now it's like new blood time. Do you know what I mean? Like not that those bands are over it or anything. I, like I love those bands, but they're searching for like the yeah, next they're looking, crop they're looking for that, and that's cool that we can sit in with other bands. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They got, you know, they've got uh, bands like Rome and stuff like that on there, like your pop punk bands, and they've also got a band on there called Dry Jacket that's like a math rocky band. Like I love, they're fantastic. They've got, they've got, you know, they got like they just say Have Mercy Mixture, as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's yeah. really cool to sit on that because it's not like. A lot, some labels at the moment are just signing the same kind of bands all the time, so it's nice to be on something that's a bit more eclectic, and it means that it's semi a learning curve for us dealing with a label that big, and also for them because they haven't had a band that, like, you know what I mean, like what we do, really and like we've always done yeah, yeah. things very strict to our own plan. So, but they're happy with the way we do. They're things. not trying to change us, which is yeah. good. At the moment, they know. like what, yeah, they like what we Two, do. Two, three they years like from now, done. they might yeah. be like, "You've got to change that." But right now, they're letting us get on with it and do it how we want to do it, and that's all that we can ask for because it just means yeah. that we can show that to a wider audience. Yeah. It's just like the next step up. It's the next opportunity for us. So. Yeah. It was a shock though when yeah. they offered it. Do you know what I mean? Because it's huge. We just literally just done the Venom Records thing, and that was pretty fucking huge at the time. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It was like, whoa. And then we met those dudes that do the van, obviously some dudes from Gallows and stuff like that. And Ollie is like he's a huge fan and he like lost his mind and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? And that's they're a great label too. Like we've been lucky. We haven't yeah. we're yet to work with anybody that's been like you know Terrible, like yeah. you know you hear the little, like horror stories. We haven't had any of we haven't got any of those to tell yet. So we're pretty lucky. With Sad Sec we started writing that the moment we finished recording Smiling Politely. So it had been written for a really long time. Vitamins, we vitamins it. was wrote with Smiling Politely, but we'd already started recording Smiling Politely, so Vitamins had to wait. We did the single of Vitamins with Neil Kennedy at the ranch in Southampton, and we knew instantly then that we were going to go back and do the next yeah. record with him. And uh, we've worked with him since. And we just took the songs that we had and we went down there, and it was a weird process for us because the first record we did, Smiling Politely, we did with our friend in our college. Well, we all used to go to college. Yeah, we so didn't do it in any fancy studio. Whereas, studying. you know, the ranch, like, the ranch isn't like the fanciest studio anymore, do you know what I mean? But like, it was a step up for us. It was very strange, you know what I mean? Record them in metronomes and all that kind of thing. And but Neil's really good at his job, so it was kind of like, to have that direction was amazing. Yeah, yeah. It would be very uh, selfish of us to not do a full length <laughs> yeah. now, do you know what I mean? People are, if we released another EP of six tracks, I mean, people would be like, yeah, that's great, but you'd kind of feel a bit like, come on, where is it? Do you know what I mean? Also, I think we're ready. Yeah. Like, we're ready to yeah. do the next bit and write a full-length album. Like, I don't... I think we've kind of... We've done the shorter stuff and we need to step up and be able to write that many songs and 
with see what we yeah, can with more tracks yeah. you have more room to breathe and interchange between them and touch on different things because we're lucky we we cover like a relatively different range of styles you know what I mean we have our soft songs we've got our heavy songs we've got our in-between songs the more tracks we have to play with and use with the more fun we can have with it so yeah that's the next plan is a full length at some point that's the next thing that we're going to be working on do you know what I mean we, like, we just got back from touring so you know we've kind of just been spending some time at home recovering catching up yeah. the next plan yeah definitely is a full length I think that's what that's what everybody seems to want from us, what we want to do, and like I said, it just feels cheeky to not do it, do you know what I mean? Everyone's been there with us for nearly two years now. Like, you know, it's kind of like, you know, this is, you know, you guys wanted this, and we wanted to do this, so, you know, we're just going to write the best thing that we can for everybody. See just, what happens, yeah. yeah.